In this episode of The Heartbeat, we continue our discussion with Dr. Black and Dr. Jaworski of XN Health to better understand the pathway to approve innovative devices. There's a lot of testing that goes into medical device development. We want to make sure that a device is very safe before we put it into humans. So we do a lot of benchtop testing, making sure that when we develop this device that there's no alter indications or nothing else happening to our patients. We're hoping to uh, start a clinical trial within the next three or four years, and that'll give us time to ensure that the device is uh, up to standards. Uh, and so there is a process of going and communicating with the FDA to make sure that we've you know, hit all these milestones of safety and efficacy, uh, and we get a lot of feedback from clinicians uh, to make sure that we're considering all these important factors. And so ballpark, how much does something like this cost to, to launch? Yeah, so from you know zero, the idea, all the way to being treated in the first patient, we're talking probably around 50 to 75 million, maybe even a little bit more, depending on how those studies actually transpire when we start doing our human trials. Those are very costly. We're, we're managing patients at that time and, and following them. Wow, that's, that's a lot of funding. <laughs> More <laughs> that, than I thought. Yeah, but I mean, considering uh, the benefits that it poses to patients, um, you know, it's, it is a, a priceless technology and, and innovation. Yeah, it requires a certain type of a special investor who has the patience to invest into, you know, very long pathway of research and development before there's actually any revenue. So unlike other businesses where you can prove out your case within a couple of years, it's going to require sometimes five, seven, even more years just to do research and develop the technology. We applied to a couple of accelerators and one that really stuck out to me was the Hax Accelerator sponsored by SOSB. And so this is an accelerator that focuses a lot on hard tech and engineering and, and the product development. And, that was something that uh, we really needed to work a lot on. We had spent the last year validating the need a lot, speaking to a bunch of clinicians uh, within this medical center and validating that the concept had merit. And so now we just really needed to bring that product to the next stage. And so that's what the Hacks Accelerator is gonna do for us. It comes with a little bit of investment and a huge engineering team uh, to support us in this next endeavor. We're gonna continue building with the Texas Heart Institute. They have supported us uh, through the Roderick McDonald Fund. Uh, there's a research grant that Baylor, St. Luke's, Texas Heart Institute supports. We will always keep our, our roots here in Houston. Um, you know, this is the largest medical center in the country, and so there's huge value here. Um, we have, you know, incredible teams of clinicians here that we hope to continue to leverage on. Dr. Medi Razavi is here and his team, and so we're always excited to come back. For The Heartbeat, I'm Maya Pomroy.